Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening, Dr. Roy. It was such a wonderful situation. Almost similar time last year, <laughs> we were at Pondicherry. I know. And we have been uh, going through, still we are going through the fabulous <laughs> spirit of yours that we are carrying back. No, and thank you uh, for bringing so much music here. Uh, 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 we we would like to go back with a lot of artists now next year yes. to you with yes. a with a world art meet. I was talking to Lalit. Now, ma'am, I believe today we are talking education, and who can be better than you? <laughs> who can teach us what the new form of education can be? And this forum is all yours, ma'am. Please address us. Thank you, uh, Dr. Roy, and heartily, heartily friends and congratulations, Dr. Kiran Bedi, ma'am. I am really honored that you have accepted our invitation and uh, are ready to join here, deliver your valuable speech. And uh, yes, I would like to share something about our digital education summit. From the morning, we have started this session, and there are lots of speeches, uh, speakers, resource persons are there not only from India, but also from different countries like Greece, Afghanistan, Philippines, and tomorrow we have all these like, three whole missions, and they are will be delivered from Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and different countries, but there are people from different countries. So, uh, this stage, the digital education, I mean, you know that uh, you have already delivered your, in your lecture to Facebook or in social media that right now, any Captain education, and while these it is written mostly how we can cope up the situation, this is the planning how it can be, uh, it can be possible to uh, cope up this pandemic, but edition has to be run. So that's why I did not to be say anything before uh, so, yeah, about that because it's really an uh, honor and I would like to share to our audience about this personality. Dr. Kiran Bedi was born in a tennis playing family from Amritsar in 1949 to Prakash and Prem Lata Peshawariya. Dr. Kiran Bedi is second of their four daughters. While still in school, she became a junior national tennis champion at the age of 16 and Asian tennis champion at the age of 22. She was ranked India's number one of her time. Dr. Kiran Bedi is the first woman in India to have joined the officer ranks of Indian Police Service in 1972. She served in for 35 years. For her policing too, for power to correct, power to prevent, and power to get things done. Dr. Bedi served as police advisor to Secretary General in United Nations in the Department of Peacekeeping Operations in New York. She is recipient of Ramon Magasay Award, also called the Asia's Nobel, Nobel Peace Award for bringing about the positive relationship between the police and the people. She is a law graduate, master's and PhD scholar with postdoctoral Nehru fellowship. Dr. Bedi is an author, she is an author of several books such as on uh, creating leadership and more. Right now, Pam is also holding the position of the Honorable Director of the Government of the Judiciary, Government of India, and still she is uh, working in not, not only in an administrative sector, but all lots of social activities that she is involved. So I'm really thankful man, that you have joined with us in our SIR, Southeast Institute for Advanced Research and Development, and mostly we are focusing on the students' equipment program also. And I'm very happy to share that with our activities since the last year, we have already reached our black community national level, as well as we have already provided some job opportunities to our students also. So, so this, I have to share a uh, microphone to session this year to Dr. Roy. And Dr. Roy, please, over to you, sir. I don't want to add a second to it. <laughs> 
It is all Dr. Mikhail Bedi, the Honorable Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry, and the leader who speaks her own merit, credit, and actions. Dr. Kiran Bedi, for all of you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Roy. It's always a pleasure reconnecting with you, but we've stayed connected digitally, haven't we? Absolutely, ma'am. You see, that was the marvel of the, the digitization. Um, COVID has, of course, strengthened, actually made it universal. But we've stayed connected ever since you left Raj Nivas with your uh, uh, rural singers who came with. The, the uh, first time we had that rural tribal art in Raj Nivas of that kind of that high quality. And I want to thank you for your visit. I want to thank most of all my friend Shobha Pawar, my tennis friend who introduced me to you. And uh, uh, Shobha is so dear to me that I can never ever say no to her. She and I played so much of tennis and the, she's such a sportswoman, she didn't mind losing to me every time. But she went back, came back to play with me. That's why I just have great admiration for her. And uh, that she introduced me to her dear friends. It's, that's what networking is all about. And that you came with such a wonderful large team to be at Raj Rivas and you added music and you gave us music also to continue hearing it. So I want to thank you also for having come. And thank the good news is that we stayed connected. I think that's what Absolutely. it is important is that uh, human relationships should strengthen. After all, what else is life about? Except that uh, we, we are there for each other, for sharing joy and strengthening each other. Thank you for yes. this invite. Yes. It's a, you see, you're talking about digital, uh, digital India. Tell me, do we have a choice today? There's no yeah. choice. And the best part here in India has been that India had, the moment our Honorable Prime Minister took over, he started to digitize the whole country. Do you remember the way he brought the Jandan Yojanas, the bank accounts, with zero, with no money, Everybody it could have open a bank account. That was the beginning of the digitization in India. Can we request you to keep the, uh, some of you can keep your mic switched off because then we won't have any disturbance which is coming. If you switch off your mics, Dr. Then, Suman Mukherjee. Dr. Mukherjee, if you could switch yeah. it off. Yeah. Yeah. The Parker, you could also switch it off. Yeah. That then your sound would be, you will receive the sound much sharper. All others, uh, good, thank you. But however, when you wish to speak, switch on your mic. Yeah, good, Dr. Roy. Yours is still on. Yeah, now it's off. Now it's off. Everybody else is off. You get the voice straight. But anybody who wants to say anything, please raise your voice. I'll stop talking. So I'll be with you, uh, uh, speak, share a few words with you till about, it's 4, four 6 now. Uh, I'll go up till 4, four and a half, 4.30. And then we will uh, address other issues. So if you see, India had gone digital from the time the new prime minister took over. And even before that, computerization had come in. But what the marvel of this last government has been, it started to digitize and uh, make India digital when you started when the it's and the visibly the world got to see Jandhan Yojana where with zero money people could start their own accounts and then came the Aadhaar card also digitization and then we had many policies of the government of India I as an NGO benefited from that where it they said go digital all over the country so teach uh, young girls women because that is where there was a digital divide in India there was a digital divide in urban, rural. There was a digital divide. And there was even a digital divide amongst men and women. There was a digital divide amongst boys and girls in India. So that, that was decided to get narrowed. And we had programs. Uh, I, I have uh, received orders and directions from government of India that, to see that we go digital and we go teach banking to, the, uh, to our uh, people. So, India has been on digital and I think it almost prepared ourselves from a crisis like COVID. 
because COVID is nothing but you survive unless you, you don't survive if you're not digital. You don't survive if you're not on a mobile phone. How do you connect with people? So I think India was just on the anvil and then you had the Airtels coming and the, the BSNL getting uh, public. So India was almost in anticipation preparing for COVID. But at the moment, everything is online education. The schools have not stopped, but currently there is a digital divide because the rural children don't have mobile phones and our urban girls and boys have. So there is a currently a digital divide in online education. So that's a very big challenge for the government of India at the moment to face because of the absence of uh, internet availability in their homes. So that's a challenge. Now, how do we meet that challenge? I'll come to that uh, as Q&A steps in. But I will show you a, a case study where 10 years back, my NGO went back digital. And how did it go? My Navjyoti India Foundation, I thought I'd share with you from Government of India policies that it is digital, it's promoting digital, it's funding digital, it's banking digital, direct transfer of money is digital, Lacks and crores of money is going digital thanks to the bank accounts. Had we not had those open bank accounts, the millions of crores and crores of rupees, which, which thousands of crores, without any loss in between, government is able to transfer straight to the bank accounts of, the, of those people who are, who are the underserved communities or who are on the margins and people are getting bank accounts. I'm a big beneficiary as an administrator because there's no loss of money in between. No human hand, it goes straight into the accounts, the millions of accounts which are opened. So I think that's thanks to the government of India policies that this happened. Now, I go back from government of policy now moving forward to tell you how we have with very little. Now, I want to offer you an example as a solution with very little how we've accomplished so much. As an NGO about uh, 10 years ago, the credit goes to my director of the Rural Foundation um, called Chani, Chani Bedi. She conducted, we work about with 100 villages in Navjyoti in rural India. It's called the Navjyoti India Foundation. She decided to conduct a survey amongst women in the, in the rural areas to find out who, how many have a mobile phone. Because they were all women in self-help groups getting trained for self-employment or for learn, adding to their incomes. She did a survey and she found that women only with 30% survey revealed women had a, you have a, uh, you have the screen? Show, show the screen. I'll show you the screen which we presented from, it just come. So here's the screen, would we divide the screen into half or will it be full screen? The survey realized that we had only, women were only 30%, there were 30% women only had phones. So she said, she told them, why don't you uh, spend some money? I'm part of the screen. Yes, Am I part of the screen? Good. Let's go to the, we we'll move, Unati model is the final model which you right. Move on to the next slide. Go to the next slide. Here, as I was, I was telling you, only 33% of the women had access to smartphones as per the survey conducted by Navjyoti India Foundation Rural Areas of the Guru Gram Haryana and Arena Haryana is considered to be wealthy, rich and pretty literate. But women had only 33% access to the smartphone. Now she said, she realized that these women were not poor, but they were never investing into digital mobility. They did not have access to the phone. Next, go to the next slide. Encourage, she then encouraged the women to invest in phones by taking a loan from self-help groups because they were all earning money. And therefore, she encouraged them that you go ahead, when you are saving money, first invest into buying a phone. I think that's my lesson one. That's my lesson one. Uh, whatever, try and ensure our girls, if you're receiving any donations, if you're getting any grants, try and make them mobile. Connect them to the world. Because without a phone, they'll get lost. They'll feel disconnected. So I would just say, if you want to improve literacy, digital literacy amongst girls, provide them a mobile phone because that's the beginning of the journey. That's what happened. 
we invested on the phone and these women self and there are many government of india schemes tap them if they can or you find a donor or you find support invest into providing simple phones to the or or uh, or even tablets later we'll talk about it so we encourage the women to invest in the phones by taking loan from self help groups we told them take a loan self help group is a very important movement for women the which who can then be a provider for their girls and themselves because self help group movement is supported a lot by government and by nabard nabard is the national rural development bank of india so nabard and ngos and the women and child at the respective states can do when they work on self help groups all of them start earning so they can save to buy a cheap phone let's go to the next slide next one so what we did we enhanced the connectivity we trained women on sending sms and use whatsapp so this is the next step we trained but but before that let me tell you what we did they were not literate these women were not literate so we taught them the language we taught them numbers and we taught them certain abc's and we also taught them hindi and we also took them onto the computer on the hard on the on the desktop so when we took these lit, illiterate women on the computer they were so very excited that they could now match their daughters and sons back home that hame bhi computer aata hai hame bhi pata hai computer kya hai so they suddenly felt empowered and confident so we trained them in sending sms messages ram ram bolo ek dusre ko ram ram bolo tum kaisi ho bolo phone bhi karo hal chal poocho so we started to connect them through whatsapp so we gradually first got them a phone then we took them on the desktop then we brought them to train them to send hal chal this means you can connect with each other for uh, uh, for difficult times also so we taught them then whatsapp that enhanced their connectivity so we, it's a gradual training which we gave them move on then the next step which we did was we used the nit training curriculum this is free so use the nit training curriculum on digital and financial literacy see how step wise we went i'm showing you the journey how you can take because i know uh, dr roy that you're dealing with grassroots girls and women and you're interested in literacy programs for them you can use these tools this is the journey way is the way forward is the nit training curriculum on digital and financial literacy to train them on access to government schemes and banking now they needed to know what was the government schemes earlier they would not know we trained them how to understand the government scheme but we also told them through hard copies so bank which resulted in their financial inclusion because women are not included in financial inclusion next this is how i've showed you a classroom training of digital and financial literacy this is our project in haryana which we i've talked to you about we trained them and gradually these women learned it they are all they are not poor but they are they are deprived of the kind of awareness we are available Uh, the knowledge or the skill or maybe the latest information they deprived of and that is how we introduce them next go now this is very important when they started to work they they we trained them on using paytm because because during the demonetization when they had when they went to uh, melas or they went to fairs people want there was no there was no cash how do you how do you transact so suddenly we had to teach them during demonetization how to do bank transactions so we this this is how we train them through, during the cashless tra uh, the times when of monetize uh, if we had not trained them they would have lost out all their income so how that preparation helped them at that time to sell their handicrafts and other products next one now they are using youtube they to learn and improve they are doing their own designing and they are selling their projects i'll show you how the inut unuti project came and see the girls the, the same women are on the computers and they are doing the designing and doing the youtube designing and selling their projects how from no phone to selling their projects by self designing and doing it on the youtube next one so they became entrepreneurs 
with better access to world and giving jobs now when i say giving jobs to other women how they get an order they get an order on their sms they are a group they are a whatsapp group with my project director now when she director gets an order she puts it on the whatsapp group and on the whatsapp group the rate is given the district administration let's say says i want 5000 masks she and the rate is 2 rupees so she puts it on the whatsapp and the anybody who is willing to take that rate picks it up and accepts the order but they also outsource it so if somebody can engage others with them so they are not only they are self employed they are employing others as well thanks to the digital support through whatsapp group and now they are becoming entrepreneurs and they giving jobs to other women by of course having a better access to the world so we have invested into it's a very interesting story chandri told me while i was taking a briefing for her for this presentation she told me that ma'am one of one of the women is earning 1 lakh rupees a month out of all this work which she did she opened a shop after the self help group and she's not well and she says she's not well and she can't go to the shop what has she done she's linked it with a cctv camera so she's watching and supervising now using the camera so the camera is securing her job and her business how extended from here to uh, continuing with her own business which is ensuring security of her job of her work network now this is the global market which now they've gone to we have now as an ngo so as a foundation we have given them a platform a platform called unitycraft.com in this this has been supported by sponsored by canada hsbc obc lic limited all of them they came together pit by pit and we brought them together to pay our teachers pay our trainers and the somewhere we also bought the material for them so it was a handshake this was not a government supported project this was an ngo generated project by getting the donors on our side and now we created the platform and now they're selling products on the site i'll show you some of the products they're very beautiful this is the website unati a uh, craft.com i'll show you the products we made these women have made this is the result of the digital education these are these haryana women access to market and through this youtube and this they are getting orders directly and you see this is what they doing order your fabric mask see this this is what they've done from nowhere to plenty this is the marvel of today's digitization of marketing products training mobilization understanding learning and of course supports by the government these are some of the pages of the website huh? the and this is the kurta stitched. stitched this is what this is the kurta she's the women stitched what she's wearing has been stitched by the same women these are the cushions they did these are their products friends and you see they're putting it on the website and these are so attractive and people are buying so from no income to plenty and look the way they are dressed up it's all by self reliance so they move so it's absolutely bridging the gap between uh, zero literacy to digital literacy through the marvels of electronics next one they've also used they also also doing microsoft, microsoft teams and they are doing their own webinars now they're doing their own webinars they're doing their own meetings to enhance their own skills in this pandemic there's no stopping as i said and of course they are part of the adult literacy center we are doing from there uh, so they are on regular training with the from the navjyoti headquarters by distance learning so because of the webinars no time lost next these are the online training for women which is on mask making see this how training is going on through webinar so had they not been digitally literate before covid they would have gone poorer but they are rich now even using cameras and youtube to continue to sell friends this is what it is next one if you have any more yes. and contract restraining we are doing this now we are training them on tablets this year on stitching so we are now generating resources to find some tablets and start giving them tablets to train themselves for stitching training so we are also moving as an ngo we are also uh, 
constantly evolving and growing according and that's the challenge of the is as leaders keep evolving and changing as per the needs of the challenges of the hour and they using newly freely available apps but there's no there's no spend there's no stopping where to uh, stopping to learn so to we are training them to record their income expense and tracking in borrowers in village this is not, this is coming from nobard also the nobard in uh, pondicherry um, by our uh, chief group here i think uma ganapati she also briefed me before i came to you how much they've done on e shakti program their e shakti program is where they trained them how to use the atms they did not know how to and then uh, uma was telling me that women did not know what to do with the credit card and if a gentleman walks up to them say acha apna pin card batao so they would tell the pin card so they have to train them the pin card is not to be spoken like this this is your secret card see all this digital literacy this is one of those pictures of karikal right this is karikal in pondicherry where these are mostly fishermen's women these are this is a fisherman hamlet and see this lady she is uh, she knows a banking completely through the iphone through the phone she has she knows her account how much money has gone into it she could tell me her bank balance of that day this is now 2 years ago much before covid came this training was given and this lady on my on this in the red wearing the red is the uma ganpati i think ganpati i hope i got her surname right but she is the one who trains on behalf of nobard where hundreds and hundreds of such fishermen uh, fisher fisher women who been trained in e shakti programs this is called the digital then they run the rural marts and rural uh, schemes so this is what i wanted to show you anything more that's i think that's it i'm just trying to tell you where you begin with nothing sometimes but you can go very far and there are government of india schemes there are state schemes let's go back no yes, there's no more slide there yes sir okay. there are government of india schemes there are state schemes all you need to do is know it yourself and then start connecting with them problem is sometimes we do not know our schemes and we need to access their websites look at nabard schemes nabard is all over in india nabard is all over uh, lic is all over canara bank is all over all these agencies who work with hsbc is all over banks would be very happy to support you and strengthen your digit big why because they are gainers because the moment a woman becomes di digitally literate she banks more she transacts more she does business so the bank is a beneficiary therefore banks banks actually were told by i remember those days it was banks who were being directed by government of india those days 2 years ago to make villages literate actually prime minister's office had tasked bankers to go village to village to make men and women literate as a fact because it's a win win situation they save it's a saving also happens so dipankar this is i thought i'd share you with you a case study where we had as an ngo we did it as a government agency we did it and therefore and government policies exist today and the challenge before us is that we all children are almost getting literate they are, they play around with the phone they it is the middle aged woman you have to target and also the that underserved girls of such families who may not have access to this information so please do not leave them behind target such girls only and start making them digitally literate you will make the world open up for them they can listen to the radio they can listen to the fm from their fm they start uh, and they all have bank accounts today they also have an a small amount deposit they also have health care so they the more you tell them about the schemes the better i thought this is this is my time to share as a case study how both as an ngo and as a government uh, making people digitally literate now is critical to education all yours the banker you can switch on your mic now and talk to me ma'am i tell you this is absolutely magical what you said and i was when you uh, intimated me first in the afternoon i was going through that side and it's amazing 
And today, this particular summit where we have addressings from different countries of the world, where uh, countries like the African countries, where the same model could be followed, there are countries, uh, the new countries which are joined in the world community, we can always and uh, we will love that uh, the, the education which you thought of imposing on this woman, it is what this digital summit is addressing to. And uh, I believe that we would like to listen uh, some, some more from you, ma'am. You can, let's have a Q&A, ask, ask questions, I'll be happy to answer. Because as I told you, we were already in NGO. Yes, yes, Dr. Mukherjee. I believe Dr. Mukherjee has something to ask. Please do. Yeah, I have three quick points. Firstly, it's great to see you after almost two decades now. You have not visited the Calcutta at all. Remember, we met at the Calcutta Rowing Club when we had that panel discussion. Oh. Uh, that was years ago. ISWBM, I invited you and, and we, you came to oh yeah, Calcutta. I still have your book, which you, uh, <laughs> you all said, uh, before you left for US. Uh, well, my three observations have been, one, uh, in England, Orange, which is known as Vodafone here, they give free smartphones to the customers if you take a subscription. Mm. I think, in, in, as a, uh, because you form the government, you ought to be telling the service providers to give smartphone to everyone because that's a part of their um, service. As you said, uh, banks should be leading it because they get better business. <laughs> Once they commit themselves to a smartphone, they hold on to the customer. So that's uh, one very important step that has not been taken in India. And that would help us not only for their businesses, but also for education. Because the divide that is taking place, particularly in rural India versus urban India, is because of internet access. So the smartphone would be the good uh, bridge between urban and rural parts. And the second stage would be where we have centralized teaching by the best professors, uh, which could be telecast on or on, uh, on a webinar kind more online to even rural areas so they can be updated. There can be no difference. So they get free human rights education all over at the same standard. So I think that will be a huge step that can be provided. In any case, uh, in my talk, I had said that health uh, the expenditure has doubled over the last 15 years, whereas expenditure on education has gone up 560 times globally. So 560%. So that's six times. So we need online education because that's by double sigma, the learning value is much more. They don't go to tutorial homes and do question answers and maximize results. They have to learn if they are all online. Uh, the, the second point is, I'm, I'm delighted to know about your strategy that you use, but it collapses with my model of how to help MSMEs. And MSMEs is a small sector. The problem with our outlook is, one was definition, they've, partly tackled it, but the bigger one is that they have not told SMEs and in your case, your NGO, how to earn foreign exchange. With our diplomatic linkages, we can market information and tell them whether they could do a process or a whole product and you will be giving them a doctor which is 70 times return or a pound more which is 100 times more return. So you could actually make them the engine drivers of your economic growth. So I, I'd like you to take the initiative. I used this model in, in, in the World Bank conference earlier in 95, but I'd be happy to also help you set this up so that even at the tribal level, at the NGO level, we have started globalizing our setup through, NGO, through our diplomatic corps. And only you can do it because you're the you're the person who thinks right and who does things right. You know, so you, you have the power and you could take this up and 
If Pondicherry takes the lead, the rest of the countries would perhaps follow. So these are my three observations, if you can help. I've made a note of them. Thank you. I think, uh, Dr. Mukherjee, you, you haven't uh, seen it by yourself. You need to go and see it by yourself. What she has yeah, done you, is, yes. uh, I like to go there. Done, she, she has opened the door of the governor house, the Raj Nivas, to, in true sense, a place for people. I have seen the kids of five-year-old walking in there and talking to her and she inspiring her or him to do better in life. Simultaneously, an 80-year-old is also walking in and sharing his pains or pleasure with her, uh, which I haven't seen. I have traveled almost all across the country. I haven't seen any other uh, governor house following with such vastness. So that is Once. something which is another point of education that we have seen uh, in her actions. Ma'am, you Once might the COVID, COVID thing goes down, I'll certainly visit Pondicherry. It will be, be good to go and see what she is doing because she can pivot this uh, dream of mine. I have, I'm, I'm going to do right away one thing out of this conference. I'm going to write to uh, the Ambani's. I'm going to write for Geo. Right. I'm going to write to Mr. Ambani that how about right. the Geo is doing what you said. I think Geo yeah. can do this. Yeah, and Geo. others will have to follow. Him. Yeah, I will. I'm going to write to him and uh, say that this is came out of this conference, and I think I fully endorse this idea. Let geophone be given to such category of women, men and boys and girls, so that they can get connected. How can they have the scheme? Wonderful. I think I like this idea. I, you've given me an idea. I'm going to take it up. Okay? And, yeah, uh, and refer to this conference that this idea came from you. Second is... Oh, thank you. <laughs> second That's is, fantastic. Second is wow. that uh, regarding the centralized training, I... Uh, uh, I saw Government of India scheme in the pipeline where they're going to open up Doordarshan as common channels for common classes. Common classes, class 1, class 2. I think I see a Doordarshan channel emerging for this. So I think you look forward to something like this shortly shaping up. I'm sure it's in the making because they had announced the minister for MHR, the, uh, uh, MHRD had announced it. This is not new. I have delivered 18 lectures at the economics level in the uh, mid 80s in colleges because they were through instead teaching students on Uttur Darshan and it was run by Professor Yashpal and uh, who expired a few days ago. Now uh, this has not been done to the school level but I would like you to pioneer this in a small state like Pondicherry as this should be a role model. Uh, in Bangalore did it to some extent before COVID, but you can get a World Bank grant giving you the entire linkage and I'd be happy to do the dozier for you. So if you've done uh, Tamil Nadu to Pondicherry and the same kind of education, then that can be a standard use. So once you need, you need a role model and uh, you can get this grant from World Bank for, for in the name of uh, upliftment of the poor. So they have the scheme, you can use that scheme. And the third one is actually a business model where you use the diplomats, the diplomats only for parties. It's time they did something for the country. The trade information has to come in terms of process developments. So what is the rate at which Philippines buys things or Taiwan gets things into Germany? Those rate will be given to smaller industries here and your handicrafts will also be sold there and they'll be earning pounds and, and dollars at Dutch farm. So these are the three fronts and I, I don't mind visiting you and being a part of your team to advise because I want this to happen. It shouldn't be on paper. Okay, Dr. Roy, any, next question. Anybody else? Thank you, Dr. Mukherjee. Yeah, thanks. Anybody else? Anybody else that I could see? 
there are let me look no, at the uh, questions there are questions coming in the index here okay you can pick up any one of it man because I, i'm going to do you, yeah. you see it on the larger screen it one of them says online uh, this is called sarathi Ra Sar sarita rao sarita rao sarita rao online education security and kids are stressed out by continuing watching so you don't have to continue watching switch it off why do you switch it off oh so somebody says online education security oh. and kids are stressed out by continued watching just switch it off why don't you switch off the systems at home switch off the television for some time let the television get some rest as well so the if the remote is in your hands the switch is in your hands switch it off why do you keep it on just switch it off open it up only for a limited period yeah. till then get into reading get into some other things activities so there are i know it's stressful being at home all the time but if on the uh, consumed continued watching is causing a stress then the switch is in your hands switch it off and then i agree man but mm -hmm. yes uh, physically they, it is very difficult and impossible also uh, like parents are behind kids every time and uh, the security what some kids are alone at home with no parents or nobody to monitor them so again uh, digital education has to um, there is again then it needs two kinds of uh, security security for the kids not to go for other I mean uh, other sites and apps so e even the, that is uh, very I mean powerful plus the education the school this uniform set of education what we expect like everywhere it's not the same each in a different way the life is totally different from online education yes uh, yes madam mrs rao that's a fact every first of all situation in every family is different no two homes are alike no parents are alike no no two attitudes are alike but if you're not happy with something the change is in your hands change is not in the hands of the neighbors all i can say is we there's no one medicine for all the que question is you look at your circumstances and see how you can better them because covid is here for some time now it's not going to go away for some months therefore the schooling will remain a challenge at the moment till you have a, a vaccination where every child can be protected so there has to be a mixture of online and offline education there will be a mixture maybe they start calling only 20 children per class two times a month two times a week can we switch on the phones please can we switch on your phones could you please switch off your phone krishna kichri can you switch off your phone mr tapu krishna kichri could you please switch off your phone because it's causing confusion krishna ji can you please switch off your phone krishna ji Okay, ma'am. Yeah, please, because then it's uh, uh, causing disruption in other signals. But if you wish to speak and raise a question, raise your hands. I'm sure Mr. Roy will say all right because he's the moderator, he's the host. I'm not going to pick and choose. He will tell me who do you want to talk to. So please switch off your phones till he asks for you. So what I'm saying here only is that uh, you've got to decide for yourself. but the question is something which you don't like why complain change it find a way to change it whatever are the ways to change it or accept it so i think that's what i believe in but i am not a doctor um, uh, who would give you saying here's a medicine you can change it no this a behavioral uh, response which you have to address yourself dr roy absolutely ma'am there, there is no second thought about it and especially when i have, i look at few days back that brilliant a uh, talent uh, sushant zajpot who gave away his life i always think that the water waste of energy so we need to change 
and adapt, change and adapt, change and adapt. That's what we, we have seen you, in fact, right from our uh, young days when people were trying to send you to different locations when they don't like your uh, straightforwardness. And wherever they have sent you, you have changed the atmosphere there. When you went to Tihar jail, the Tihar jail has become a place of visit. You changed the whole atmosphere of it. When you were sent to Northeast, you changed the whole atmosphere of Northeast. So that's a change in Adam, which I believe people need to learn from your style of handling. And that should be the human style of handling. And any other question? Uh, any other question that you can see, ma'am, on your screen? Okay, if you permit, then I can read out this one. Please, yes. please, ma'am. It says, hello, ma'am. This is Suman Meena. Suman Meena saying, I would like to, one more thing, uh, that in Rajasthan, especially in rural background, digital education is still not running good way. And due to COVID-19, they are going back compared to urban students. What will you do for them? I do believe, and what you're saying is right, I don't think governments were prepared for digital education. They were not prepared for long dis for distance learning at all. At the moment, this is, I think, the biggest vacuum at the moment. Teachers are not trained to do digital education because you suddenly everything's got clamped and you didn't have a choice and you started to do this. So I think here we are floundering. It's a fact. We are floundering. We didn't prepare the rural areas for digital learning and digital classrooms. We did not prepare our teachers for that. This is one area. Nobody was prepared. COVID and lockdown happened within hours because we had to check the spread where then life became over livelihood. It's over a period that life and livelihood started getting balanced. But earlier, immediately, you'd agree nobody knew that we will be into a lockdown within days to come. And therefore, naturally, now what do children do? So you have to start to struggle and do digital. So therefore, if you are going to measure it by its efficiency, let's understand. None of us were prepared for this kind of crisis, what you're facing today. Nobody was prepared for a lockdown of this kind. Nobody was prepared for the, uh, the social distancing challenge. Nobody was prepared for the kind of sanitation challenge it would go. Nobody was prepared even for a mask. There was there a single mask available other than in the surgery ward. Today, billion masks are required to be prepared. So please understand, if you're going to be judging the quality of digital education against this background, I don't think we, anybody will pass. But it is past time. And I do know that this is a digital divide at the moment. Children in urban areas, children who had a phone, a smartphone, children who had a uh, computer at home, children whose parents could afford it, they have it. That's a fact. And those who didn't are being deprived. Therefore, as soon as things become normal, government uh, education department will have to do a lot of catching up, a lot of catching up with those children who've been left behind. And there are pl plenty of children left behind. But the reason is that it's not a prepared thing. It is just managing it somehow or the other. So uh, things will change for the better. But at the moment, we are not a flattening of the curve. COVID will continue and children will not be risked to come to school because children are a very vulnerable category. And no, but no parent would like to risk their child to catch uh, COVID-19. But don't judge it. Don't judge it at the moment that the, we are not doing the, it is a, it, therefore, therefore, the answer is educate the child at home. Do homeschooling. If you have parents educated, do homeschooling. Problem will again be where parents are also the not learners, they are not even first learners, what would you do? So here are the challenges of the society of a, a billion people more. So at the moment, we are struggling to be alive. We are struggling to be healthy. We are struggling to revive the economy. We are struggling to keep the jobs going. We are struggling to revive the economy. To, so that people have food to eat. We're struggling. At the moment, food is being served at the doorstep because it's poverty at the moment. So I think schooling comes at the moment as a, another issue, 
but understand don't start rating it to my mind don't rate it because government of the states were not prepared for distance learning at all whatever they're doing is within whatever was available so home schooling is the answer if you are or you have a sister a brother an elder do home schooling otherwise do uh, uh, listen to very good programs on 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 the channels they do very good programs so going for not just literacy going for adhyatmik learning go for art and culture go teach them uh, uh, other things of uh, spiritual books read these so that children are, learn yoga all these programs are available today on doordarshan so get into that kind of learning at the moment rather than rote learning which we thought was education i don't think that was true education i think i like to wrap up now because uh, dipankar ji dr roy i have to go for my next program if you would permit me it's it's great absolutely uh, knowledge has come through you through your actions and we from sayad sayad are, are grateful grateful that that we we could have had the the chair chair from you from you and look forward again on our world summit when we meet you hopefully physically not through digital but even if it is digital we will not mind <laughs> Thank you all very much and namaste to all of you. Thank you ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste Thank and you. gratitude to all of you for have joined this conference you, and giving me the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you ma'am. Thank you. Thank you.